In a pivotal judicial face-off, attorneys for former President Donald Trump have positioned themselves firmly before a federal appeals court with an audacious claim the ex-commander-in-chief should be enveloped in immunity concerning actions taken during his time in office. This legal stratagem comes into the limelight after the U.S. Supreme Court set aside an application from special counsel Jack Smith to expedite a ruling on the very question of Trump's immunity. The tussle over presidential privileges is not new to the American legal landscape, but the current context gives it an unprecedented twist. Trump, a president known for pushing the boundaries of executive power, has left behind a contentious legal legacy that continues to ripple through the judicial system. His lawyers now argue that a protective shield is essential to prevent the judiciary from interfering with executive functions, a debate that has historians, legal experts, and politicians watching with bated breath. Digging into the roots of the issue, the United States Constitution does provide a certain degree of immunity to sitting presidents, a doctrine designed to ensure that the nation's leader can perform duties without fear of vexatious litigation. However, the extension of this doctrine post-presidency is a murky terrain. The outcome of this legal assertion could set a significant precedent affecting not just Trump, but the office of the presidency itself. The urgency of the matter is underscored by pending investigations linked to Trump's tenure, spanning controversial topics from alleged financial misconduct to obstruction of justice inquiries. These investigations have been periodically stalled as courts navigate the complex interplay of executive privilege, separation of powers, and legal accountability. While the Supreme Court's refusal to prioritize the immunity question has bought time, it also underscores a cautious approach to an issue that has far-reaching implications. The appeals court now finds itself in the legal spotlight, tasked with balancing the sanctity of presidential governance with the principles of accountability and rule of law. For observers, the significance of this moment extends beyond the specifics of Trump's legal battles. It's a flashpoint that tests the very fibers of American constitutional law. The proceedings invite a broader discourse on the limits of presidential powers and offer a sobering reflection on the mechanisms in place to guard democratic integrity against potential abuses. As the nation and the world observe, the Federal Appeals Court's decision in this matter will not merely determine the intricacies of Trump's legal odyssey. It will contribute a new chapter to the ongoing saga of America's constitutional experiment with implications that will echo throughout history.